Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of Spyro, A New Beginning. So we recently just upgraded our Earth Breath all the way, but unfortunately we're not in a good position to show it off more because, uh, well, it consumes a lot of energy. Unfortunately. <laughs> uh, just for fun. It's... Die! <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> Oh, I'm sorry. I, I, I didn't. I, I didn't realize you had health. There's like such a tiny sliver. <laughs> I just. I just love it. I just love it so much. Howdy, fellas. What's that? Can't hear you. Want to try again? Oh, nope. You're down. <laughs> God, badass doors. Got her head on it and everything. Y'all's dead and shit. I will say that the secondary fire on uh, the fire ability, and the fire breath is definitely a lot better. Uh, just generally speaking. I mean, it's pretty fuel efficient, and it, it just causes it just causes so much mayhem. It really does. And it's my favorite thing to cause. It's like my favorite thing. Hmm, big open area with two crystals. That spells fun. Hey, what up, girl? <laughs> I like how the main villain of the game just like you see how tiny Sparks is even from our perspective down here she saw that from like a mile up and decided to swoop down and fuck with him she thought that was worth time in her day she's like eh you know it's on the way god such a disproportionately badass theme Oh, game. Oh, game. Get out of my face! Get out of my face! I don't like it! Oh, no. No! Spyro, you fool! This is no time for ballet! Oh, wait, that's right. Death means nothing. And... Rocks! Literally just rocks. Completely missed this guy, though. Just shoot one over here, shoot one over here, shoot one over there, shoot one over there. And I'm pretty sure I wiped out a room. Yeah, fire's a lot better on everything. Just die. Gun. And gun, gun. There they go, there they go, there they go again. In the ground, that is. Well, you know, there's enough of them left. It seems with music like this, all of the enemies should be the bigger guys at the very least. You know what I mean? In varying degrees of like badass armor. Some of them could be different classes, like you got your giant mage class, you get your giant warrior class. You know what I mean? It 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 seems like the little guys shouldn't even be a thing here. It's just weird to me. Especially with a theme like that. Oh, okay. You just weren't taking damage because of reasons. Gotcha. Let me work first. 
I wonder what works first. I wonder what works best on those guys. Hmm. So I'm thinking about Reignited Trilogy now. I mentioned it an episode or two ago, and I'm really excited for it, but I don't know if I want to... Do I want to go through all of them? Probably, right? I mean, they're not super long games or anything, as I recall. I would have to 100% them, though. I mean, you can't play a Spyro game... You can't play a classic Spyro and not 100% it. It's just, like, blasphemous? Pretty sure it's on that level? Not hard to 100% though. Though I guess if I want to go through all of them, I probably want to do the. I, I probably want to do it in order, especially since I streamed uh, Spyro two and three, the originals, and I haven't done one at all. So I guess that makes sense. Yeah. Die, potatoes. Who's sex at their job? <laughs> Me, apparently. Cries in corner. Oh, man. Oh, that's dynamite. Huh. You actually have the last name Red Dragon. Do you, uh... I don't know. D does having that last name conflict with, you know, kidnapping Ignitus and... Using them to fuel Cinder's J.O. crystals. Does that feel weird for you? Or did your family get that name from killing red dragons? Hmm. Let's keep trying. Are you wearing a gimp mask? Is that what these are? Are they all cosplaying their leader? Like Cinder gimp masks? I don't know. If I had henchmen, I don't think I'd want him to wear, like, gimp masks of my face. Seems like a weird thing. Seems like a thing I wouldn't be okay with. One of those things where it's like, yeah, I'm flattered, but deeply uncomfortable. It seems to delete armor. Okay, so you're that kind of ability. Gotcha. Gonna finna combo me? Is this Vex? Just gonna keep punching me until I fall off something or die? That mastered crystal travel, as you've seen there, clipped right through it. You're dead now. What's next? Nerds! Yes, after defeating the giant monkeys, you upgrade to these little dudes. Flute Tracer? I mean, flutes aren't super hard to draw. Wait, I've made this joke before. Oh my god, they are just recycling names. And spawning on top of each other. Yeah, because then I said, oh wait, I'm thinking of recorders. Dear god, they're either all inbred and related or recycled. Though isn't that what inbreeding is? You're just recycling the same DNA patterns again and again. Huh. So a true recycler. <laughs> now you might be thinking to yourself, Jeff, that was fucking overkill. Those guys were nobodies. I got bored. They're throwing the same thing at me. I gotta blow things up sometimes, even if it's overkill. I just gotta. I just gotta. Oh, hi, Dreadwing. Uh, sometimes you just gotta. You gotta use an A bomb on an ant. You know what I mean? Every once in a while. Really flex. Really flex your powers. Just flop a giant dick on the table and intimidate your enemy. Sometimes you gotta do that, just for fun. Do it for you, you know? You play an MTG against someone that's never played it before? Use a Relentless Rats deck. Just do it. Fuck them. Ah. <laughs> uh. 
I, there's actually a story behind the Relentless Rats deck, and this, I, I guess, only a few people will be interested in this, so I'll keep it short. Uh, the way Relentless Rats works in uh, Magic the Gathering is it's one of the few cards you can have any number of copies of in your deck. Usually it's like a max of four. Um, and for every Relentless Rats on the field, each Relentless Rats gets a bonus to its, uh, to its attack and defense based on how many there are. So you can just keep going, more Relentless Rats, Relentless Rats, Relentless Rats, until they're all, until each of your little army of rats are like titans. Just these unstoppable death machines. And uh, Logan, who is a smartass, like, we, we, we went to a library and we played, and there's this guy there, and he's showing us how Relentless Rats decks work, because he was teaching us how to play. And it was really cool. And so, Logan and I got the idea, hey, wait, I think we have a card that could totally own that if we draw it. And what it does is, it's called Exclusion Ritual. You take a single card on the field out of the game, and you get rid of all copies of it from, like... I believe it's from the field, the graveyard, the deck, the hand, everything. It's all gone. Oh, wait, no, no, no. It, it gets rid of it from the field, and they can't play another card with that name, ever. He used that and fucked with them. It was hilarious. <laughs> I didn't get to watch the match, but from Logan's recollection when I asked him about it, he said the guy was just like, Man, fuck you. <laughs> Not even mad, just like, You're a dick, you know that? <laughs> Memories. Okay, Conduit. Still not 100% sure what your deal is, but... Yeah, like I, I guess I flame you and then I... Then I whap you? I guess? I think? Are you dead? Cool. Okay, they're just a little awkward. That's a- whoa, that's a- that's more than one. There we go. If you were scanning for an ass whooping, you found it. Your sensor should be going nuts. You're gone. Thank you for playing. Better luck next to you. Oh, there's more. Okay, so how many of you do I have to kill? So maybe this is the enemy that the, the Earth secondary is made for? Man. If you do that, keep them in the air, right? Allegedly. Oh, he's dead. That makes sense. How many more? All right, I, I'm still not 100% sure the most efficient way to fight these things. I'm just gonna, just gonna keep doing what I've been doing and just kinda switch in between Y and B, just kinda blow up, punch, blow up, punch. It seems to be working okay. See what I mean? Like, I'm, I'm just juggling them at this point. You okay there, buddy? <laughs> His ass whooping stopped long after I did. God, it's like I used the stop spell from fucking Kingdom Hearts on him. Just get away from the fight, and he's beating himself up for a minute. He's shadow boxing and losing. See, the monkey thought it was funny. Why aren't you laughing? <laughs> Hi, you fellas! Still doesn't matter. Ignitus needs us. 
I'm not complaining. I'm just saying it would be easier if she was smaller. A lot smaller. <laughs> I'm starting to think that my brother is secretly David Spade. Because the way that... Bye, Woody. Uh, the way that Sparks talks in this game reminds me a lot of how Logan does. Just... I don't know. The comments are similar. The attitude's similar. Bye. Oh, is that the last elevator? I think it might be. <gasps> I can still knock them off. Yay! Next. Away you go. Away you go. I said away you go. Away you go, sir. Maybe that was a glitch, or maybe this is a glitch. I don't know. Ah, as long as they fall off, I don't care. Next. You know, just for you being a pain in the ass, I'm gonna do this. Wow, that sucked. The primary fire was more effective. That, uh... That's a little disappointing. Where did that dynamite come from? I like to think he threw it up like an hour ago and it just had a really long fuse and it just came down. Head cannons with Channel Joe. So, we're just going down? Wait, is that wrong? Too late now. <laughs> uh, the hands from Labyrinth were creepy. She chose down, she chose down. Don't you get off this cliff. Wow. He felt very gracefully. Splody times, splody times. Splody times. It does feel weird that I'm going to be going from one Spyro series to another Spyro series fairly soon. It does feel weird, but on the other hand, it's like, you know, I don't really like Spyro. It's kind of what I'm going to play, man. I mean, I'm not going to play something I don't want to play. Incidentally, I won't be continuing uh, the new Spider-Man for that reason. Uh, I already announced it on, like, Twitter and Discord and stuff like that, and I've said it on stream a couple times, but... It, it's just... I don't know, like, it's taken, I'm four hours into the game and not a whole lot has happened, really. You know what I mean? Oh, the game's a little too slow for me. A little too slow, combat's meh, skill trees are boring, crafting suits is boring. All the stuff that I bought the game for apparently only happens, like, you know, the last 30 minutes. So it's like, eh. Oh. I'll get to focus on other games. Other games that won't take a million years to get to the point. Yes, yes, you see me. Does that alarm even do anything? Not to mention, those files were very much a pain in the ass to, uh, to get to David, because... You know, longer episodes, just because of the way the game is. Whew. These things take forever to get on a Google Drive. Forever! You would have Monkey dead and shit. Just watched a metal shard go straight through his face. Oh, well, these have to go first.
Okay, cool. With those out of the way, there should be a cakewalk. Cut to my death. Let's see, dance twister. So do you exclusively do the twist, or do you put your own twist on different dances? Quite frankly, neither is disappointing. Grab this for that sweet, sweet EXP. Or XP. I'm not sure which kind of game this is. I'm gonna just grab these real quick. Alright, so where are we with that? Ooh. I am curious to see how this looks when it's fully upgraded. We have a lot. Okay, there we go. I was like, this isn't draining at all. Okay, cool. Let's see. What do you look like now? Ooh. It bounce around and shit. That's kind of neat. I like it. I folks with it. I do enjoy. Thank you for introducing me to that concept and getting rid of an annoying enemy. Oh, that's right. Turn you guys into. Oh, that's cute. Can I break these? No? Well. Doesn't that just rain on my parade? Seems like it's hurting them more than it's hurting me. Speaking of which... Excessive force is the best force. Incidentally, good policy to go by in uh, Knights of the Old Republic. Fun game. Fun game. The second one took a little bit to be fun. Bit of a slow burn, that game. Ah, oh, the pain's painful. Uh, going about my day now. Okay, I need a boss fight. I need a boss fight right now. <laughs> you guys are throwing the same shit at me. I need a boss. I need a hero! Oh, speaking of heroes, a new hero for Overwatch was announced. Yes! Oh, uh, it's gonna be Ash and Bob. I love Bob. I mean, Ash is, like, pretty cool, but I think, we, I think we're all excited for Bob. Big Omnic Butler with a cute little hat. A cute little bowler hat. I love how at the end of the animation, just like even McCree likes Bob. He apologizes to Bob and gives him his head back, or his, uh, his hat back. It's just like, oh, Bob. It's always fun when they have like the gentle giant character. Well, I guess he's not very gentle, but you know what I mean. The quiet giant character that's also kind of adorable. Alright, let's do it. You know, he, you know what? He reminds me of the Iron Giant a little bit. A little bit. Except he's a little more comfortable with the idea of guns. And football tackling people. Also very important. I'm just gonna go through here. I'm gonna go through here. Yeah, she looks like she's gonna be a really fun hero to play. And we shouldn't run into the same issue with uh, Brigida, where it's like, see how much skill does it play? To, does it take to like fully utilize this character? None. Okay. It looks like you'll actually have to be able to like, you know, aim. No, 
Hey. Which sucks because I love Brigitte as a character, just not, just not her mechanics and how unbelievably easy she has to play. Just no. You shouldn't have that much impact with that little effort. I'm still salty. Yeah, I'm just gonna refuel over here. Down you go. Next up, next up. I like how he gave me the, you know, bring it on hand motion, like he wasn't about to spend an, the next few minutes on his ass. <laughs> uh, that's the best. Ooh, another arena challenge, maybe? It's looking like it. Again, this is hurting you guys more than it's hurting me. Seems like a flaw. Maybe you guys could have programmed them to specifically target me? Or anything that's not you? Seems like some simple programming to me, but... <laughs> I'd like that to finish it off for me. <laughs> Just whoop. Oh, Vine Weasel. He might be a bit of a weasel, but he loves him some vines. Speaking of which, best vine to me to this day is the Pennywise clown that's offering people penis enlargement pills. Whoa, that guy had some fun. Um... Yeah, definitely look that up, because th that shit is just hilarious. <laughs> they pass by the little sewer thing, and, he, and there's like, Oh, damn, there's a clown in there! It zooms in on You want some penis enlargement pills? <laughs> it's... It's just kind of... I don't know what it is. It's so stupid, but I love it so much. The best things in life are stupid. How are we doing on time, by the way? Uh-oh. I did not hit the timer, apparently. Shit, that might explain why this episode feels a little longer. Feels a little longer. It might not be longer. Let's see, we started... It looks like this is about where an episode should end. First, I'm gonna upgrade this. Ah! Oh, David, zoom in on that. Look at that bullshit. How is that not full? How the hell is that not full? Bullshit. <laughs> All right, so I'm assuming we've went over our 15 minutes. I'm assuming that. So I'm going to go ahead and end the episode here just to be safe. Sorry if it ends up being a short one somehow. All right. Hope you guys enjoyed the episode. Like, comment, subscribe, all that good shit. And I will see you guys in the next one where hopefully, let's see, this is our fourth episode finished for today. So I got one more to record. Hopefully next episode, we will at least make it up to Cinder. Hopefully. Fingers crossed. As much as, as badass as this level is, I do kind of want to move on and fight the big bad already. I want to fight the big bad. I think we get two fights with her. I believe. Yeah, we get two fights with her. It's going to be sweet. All right. So again, hope you guys enjoyed. And I will see you guys in the next one. Have a good one.